Good evening folks and welcome to the first video of FM20 Football Manager 2020. Let it sink in on the channel with our team for the beta, Newcastle United. Not enjoying the rosiest of times, of course. We've we've you put you, I can't even think of the word. What's the word? Usurped Steve Bruce and his merry men. They're gone. We're now in the dugout at St James's battling with Mike Ashley for a little bit of control of the club, you might say. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Fixture-wise, you know, we've got a few friendlies lined up. I'll, I'll probably just get to one of those today and you can see a bit of gameplay. We'll see if there's any transfers to be doing. The squad, you know, if you're into Premier League football, then you'll you'll know most of these players. Uh, me being a Stoke fan, sadly, I'm out of the Premier League. I mean, he, Joel Linton, there's a man we can build a team around. Uh, well, We'll come back to the tactics as well, but I think we're going to go sort of, we're going to try a bit of vertical ticky, I can't even say the words, vertical ticky tacker is the idea, and see if we can pass our way to glory. Uh, opening Premier League game will be, uh, well, it doesn't get any easier does it, uh, home against Arsenal, I think that was probably the game that Newcastle started with in real life, these may well be the real real life fixtures i'm not sure in fact home against wolves yes i think it is i think these are the real life fixtures so we'll see if we can do better than stevie although he did beat man united didn't he so probably not um we've just got something to do today you can see we've actually got the badges all installed so sports interactive won't thank me for that but we've got the real badges we've got the name fixes so fingers crossed we've actually got juventus or are they going to be zobs no we've got we've actually got juventus fc uh, interesting that they've got the the weird sash across the kit that is interesting actually that's nice i didn't realize it would do that it's put the the club kit badge actually on these generated kits obviously it hasn't got the full kits not allowed in football manager they don't own these licenses but it has actually applied the badge to their to the shirt to make it a little bit more interesting nice little touch that that's the kind of thing you like to find out by yourself it's just a little tweak that they've put in just to add to that a little bit of je ne sais quoi you might say so real madrid again you can see just it, it makes it look real that could easily be a real madrid shirt i'll probably buy it if it was anyway we've got something to do today uh, a club vision and expectations meeting these are the the club ideas um, interestingly you can see they're looking to sell the club seems to be a key priority of this board which apparently they've been trying to sell the club for the last i don't know half century so whether or not they'll actually achieve that i don't know uh, sign players under the age of 22 for the future that is something that i like to do so i'm happy to to say that is a you know that is i accept that to be honest play attacking football we'll try that of course they they favor it it's sort of like a you know i prefer that if you can so we'll we'll go with that sign players under the age of 23 for the first team sort of the same as as the top one really i would say that do not sign players over the age of 30. yep yep i mean tony pulis isn't gonna uh, accept all this but there we go five-year plan maintain self sustainability and work within the wage budget required i think that's fair we can't spend what we don't have uh, mid-table in the premier league fifth round of the fa cup and fourth round of the efl the old carabao i think those are fair expectations and fair 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 goals really for the club we've got some good players i like jetro willems uh i'm guessing these pink players that they're out on loan i'm using the dark skin it's just the one I, I I know the purple is the the common go to, but I thought we'd be in Newcastle. Uh, nothing nothing at all to do with the fact that I couldn't get my kit my badge pack to work with the purple skin. But anyway, we'll we'll skip by that. Um, I'll come back to you when I've decided on a system, and we'll run through that and what kind of players and if any areas that we need to 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 look at getting anybody new in. Really, I don't know what kind of money we've got to work with. Twenty million. I think he's a very fair man. Is is uh, is is Mike. Uh, oh, Vinicius Jr. I don't know if I wonder if there's a, a little cheeky loan bid that we might be able to. Uh, not willing to allow him to leave. Okay. I mean, you know, that would be a good signing. We don't have that kind of money. I think 20 million in the transfer budget and 36k in the wage budget is a little bit. There's a bit of disparity there. If you're going to be buying a player for 20 million, you're probably going to be paying him more than 30 grand a week. But we'll see what's available. Uh, as I say, I'll come back to you with a system in just a minute. Okay, so this is sort of the system that I envisage as playing. Um, this 4-2-3-1 vertical tiki tacker system is what I'm hoping for. It might work. I'm hoping it does. We're going to try and play out defence. Obviously, we give ourselves options in the middle. What I'm looking for is always 
triangles, you know? I want triangles all over this park so that we can hopefully split the space. And what I'm hoping is that Almiron and St. Maximin, we haven't really got the third attacking midfielder that we would like. So whether it's St. Maximin or Matt Ritchie, who's going to be playing there, you know, that I think St. Maximin is a good player by the look of it. Um, perhaps not suited. Maybe Sean Longstaff long term could be the man. Muto as well. You know, these are. These are all okay players, but not ideal for this role. So we'll see if anything develops in that area. You know, Vinicius Jr., hello. But uh, yeah, we'll get to the locomotive friendly and see what position we're in. Back with you in just a second. Okay, folks, so this first friendly isn't actually going to be against Locomotive. We've arranged some more against Zoya, and we've actually had a new arrival at the club. Obviously, if you think back to just a few moments ago, we agreed that we wouldn't be signing anyone over the age of 30. So with that in mind, we signed someone a little bit north of 30, closer to 40, in fact, nearly 40. But it's this man. You might have heard of him. It's Zlatan. I mean, what is Premier League without Zlatan? We've brought him back from the LA Galaxy. And 1.1 uh, million, an absolute steal. He's going to bag the goals. They're going to love him. They're going to love him in the black and white stripes. Uh, so there's that attack coming your way. And uh, as I say, just a smidge over 30. Uh, Chet's birthday with me. He's a little bit older, actually. So one of the few players that I could probably sign that is older. We're going to play this friendly. And fingers crossed, we can get off to a good start. Uh, Isaac Hayden injured. We've let... Um, Midfielder Jack Colback, he's gone out on loan to Swansea. So I think what we'll do is we're going to give Sean Longstaff a run. And I think what we'll do is we'll just have, oh, I don't know, I was thinking maybe Charlie better just sitting back, holding, holding a little bit further. But we'll let him off the hook today. Uh, obviously, we've still got uh, Almiron and Saive, um away. So we don't really suit this system <laughs> at all with the players we've got. We're going to put Richie. In, we're going to move him onto uh, the left side of the three. And in this attacking midfield role, we don't really have the option. So what we are going to do is we're going to play uh, Ibra just ahead of Joel Linton. It won't be... Uh, Joel Linton's probably not going to be happy with that, but it is what it is. And uh, I'll just pick the bench and then I'll see you pitch side at St. James's for our, our unveiling. See you in a moment. And there we have the teams then. What I said, Ibra leading the line, the big man, Joel Linton just behind him with Matt Ritchie on the left with Sam Maximin on the right, Shelby, Longstaff, uh, Willems left side, uh, Kraft on the right with Shaw and Lascelles at the centre with Dubravka in nets. Uh, if you know any of those players, well done to you, I don't. Let's get into the dressing room and have a quick chat with the lads. Let's, uh, ask them to, uh, well, they, they didn't listen there at all, did they? They're not interested. The the Oh, someone's pleased, Joel Linton... Oh, there we go. A bit of happiness in the dressing room. And, um, yep, lining up. I don't know why we did the pre-match line-up there for a friendly. And we get straight into it. Let's just pause there for a second as we just update some of these little little bits. Let's go. Where do we go? Uh, no, not vertical scrolling. That's a disaster. Let's go sideline. No, no, TV. This is what we go for. And we want a bit, of, a bit more pace. So, here we go. Watch speed. Text only highlights, not interesting. That's between the between highlights, very good. So let's just move that up a little, a little bit. And I think for replays, we only want goals. This lad offside goals, yes. Tight offsides. Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave them on for now. And if they get annoying, which they probably will, we'll turn them off. Obviously, I've already turned off sound. People make that mistake a lot. And not interested in notifications, to be honest. So off you go. Not interested in the assistant shouting at me. And away we go. Uh, let's see what happens as we start to... It's pouring down. Absolutely disastrous weather. And nothing comes to that early moment. I never thought I'd manage Ibrahimovic. I'm, I'm very pleased. That's been a scintillating first uh, quarter of an hour. But here we go. We're throwing Joel Linton on this right side. Crosses the ball. Willems picks it up, no one was there. And it's back to Joel Linton now. Looks as, uh, to find a little bit of space. Kraft on the right side with him. Joel Linton, just a bit of keeper ball. And John Joe Shelby's there. And we score inside the first 20 minutes. Nice ball in, nice little bit of interplay. Um, and we get our first goal of the series. Joel Linton plays it out there. And you just think these two are just going to keep the ball for, for a little while. You know, just sort of between them. But then John Joe Shelby absolutely rakes it into the 
well, not into the, even into the corner, really. Keeper probably could have done better. Probably would expect him to. But 1 0 we lead. Throw in now. 38 minutes played. Willems, Joe Linton heads back to him. Willems collects. Lays it out. Here's Longstaff. Maximine. Longstaff. Nice ball out to this right side. We've already had one assist from this area. Can we get a second? Ball in. Joe Linton looking for it. Jetro Willems. Can he strike? I wish he hadn't bothered. I wish he hadn't bothered. Let's just make sure. I may have in my haste to get going. Uh, gone extended. Yes, I thought so. Let's go key highlights. The fact that we've only had two highlights at this point, not really a sign of extended. But uh, but there we go. And that's half time. So, while it's not been the most amazing attacking play from us, and it is only Zoya, this is impressive. We've managed to restrict the opponents to nothing. So, let's tell them to keep it up and get back out there for the second half. It's it's going to be a long season. It always is when you're not uh, one of the big boys. But if the lads can perform like this, then we might just have half a chance. Basically keeping that back door shut. As uh, Ibrahimovic stands over this wicket. What a fairy tale this would be as he goes just over the crossbar. Doesn't matter how much you lose those physicals, he's always going to have that in his locker. I think on the hour mark, we're going to withdraw the Zlat attack and uh, bring on Muto. And we're going to move him into midfield and push uh, Joel Linton up front into his more favoured position. I think otherwise, we probably stay as we are. I think we're doing all right. And, uh, you know, it's... it's Yeah. I know it's only pre-season, but I'd like to win. A few more changes then. You see Zoya offering nothing. Uh, we're going to bring Willems off for Dummett. And that's probably... With Mankio coming on as well. We'll get Andy Carroll on, eh? A bit of a homecoming for the big man. See if he can make a bit of a difference in attack. Corner ball, Matt Ritchie over it. Just 10 minutes to play. Uh, no one challenge on it. And it's crashed in off the crossbar by Sean Longstaff. What a strike as, as he's celebrating with all of his friends and teammates on his own. As uh, Ritchie's ball in here from the corner. No one attacking it at all. Might have to look at that. Maximin, uh, well, what a strike that is. Almost ripped the net asunder as uh, Longstaff celebrates. And we take a two-goal lead. Game is won. And, yeah, I'm encouraged by it, to be honest. 70% possession, which is what I like to see. 12 shots, 5 on target, nothing at all for Zoya. That's the bit that I like. And I think we have to say, well done, boys. Well done. And there might be a bit of a feel-good factor coming to Newcastle now. With Zlatan sign, it's going to boost sales, surely. So everyone wants to watch Zlatan in a black and white shirt. And, yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly delighted. Obviously, we've got a long pre-season ahead of us. We've only just kicked it off. We've got quite a few games that I know no one's interested in. I'm not even interested particularly to play them. But we'll come back for the Arsenal Premier League game. Might be tomorrow, as in Friday. Might be over the weekend. Not sure yet. Depends on how much time we get to enjoy. But I hope you're all uh, downloading your FM. If uh, you want to follow me on Twitter at Wide, if you want any help, of course, setting up badge packs or league fix names or whatever, stuff that Football Manager makes it very easy to do, but can't tell you how to do it, then just hit me up on there. Of course, there is plenty of help online anyway, but uh, I'm more than happy to point you in the right direction as and when required. Um, do pop a like on the video as well and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I look forward to seeing you on the very next video. Take care and goodbye. Thank you.